Da sieht es aus, als wäre es Hello, everybody. I need to check if it's really working. Where are we going? Looks like. Yes. Looks like. Yes. Oh, I have to Looks do. Like. Yes. <laughs> Now I created an endless loop. Hi, everybody. I see there's also uh, people from Italy watching. So, uh, buonasera, come stai? Tutto bene? Uh, I hope so. Well, you have the hard times there, but please stay healthy. And everybody else, let's go. We do practice like uh, last week, Thursday, because nobody saw what we've been doing, and it was quite intense. Silvia, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> you can say hi to everybody. Hi. Okay, then we just start. Join us. Okay. Yes. All right. All right, I come a little bit closer, maybe here it's good. I don't know. Oh, we are very delayed. Look at that. We're yeah. three seconds late. <laughs> Hello. So we start. We do um, all these kind of stretching practices, what we do in Aikido, and then a few um, practices how to roll. And it will be quite intense for the center because that's always important. Enjoy. So we start. Okay. That's the first thing always what we do. I'm wondering if the people really are doing that. It's very funny because um, uh, last time when we had the classes with the sword, it was very nice. There was people from all over the world, actually, and I felt very honored that I had watched this class. And uh, funny was also that some of the students we chatted later on in Zoom, of course, you're welcome to join on my Zoom meeting later after the class. They said they tried to, to roll in their living rooms and they did the suburi with the boken and hit the roof and they almost rolled into the bookshelf. And pretty funny to think, to imagine how that is. So we are very lucky, very comfortable in that space because there's nobody here and the door is spacey. That's interesting. Usually, when we do that, or when I teach it in the dojo, I don't talk, I don't tell what I'm actually doing. Because all people have seen that so many times and they already know. Maybe now I should, and I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, basically, here, of course, you know. You hang the body, upper body and relax shoulders and neck. And if you go down, keep the heels closed so they touch. 
the, um, I think I said that already last Thursday, the spot of uh, stands below your center is quite small. And if we are concentrating on uh, keeping the balance in that position, our hips and our feet and our whole center must move and shift a little bit. It's micro motions what we have there. And they are very, very good to get better centering for what the hips are doing. That's why it's, it's a nice practice to sit like that. Yes, okay. Now we roll over the side on the back to the other side and sit up again. So, okay, as you see, I try to do it very slowly or not too slow, but not very fast. And I want you to try to roll over your shoulder axis and not over the back. If you uh, fall to the side and you go on the back, it's um, not so proper to do. Better is to shift the weight point over your head when you come to the side, because then you roll only over the shoulders. There. And that's what you actually need for the ukimi later. the angle and put your foot uh, what is it toes into place Okay, let me go backwards. Oh, 
okay, come up again. And Okay, then we roll the shoulders also forward and roll the arms. center and breathe out again. So in that exercise, actually we take deep breath and as soon as we bring the hands on the level of the shoulders, we pull down the diaphragma and then strengthen the forward, lower um, abdomen and the back muscles like the, the ones who are left and right of the kidneys. And by that you start exhaling automatically. In, in, and take down, and more. In. Take down the diaphragm, now. and the lower center, one more time. Okay, okay. we'll take from the center as well. we also do our routines for the wrists and nick your cut the guys see Time the rolling your fingers and bring the palm wrist out. One more time, the side. And let's stretch out. Arms from the center of the world. Okay, before we do uh, Ushiro Kimi, maybe a little bit of Mayo Kimi as well, it depends if you have space or not, or if you just want to watch it. We're going to do again this kind of practice. And I thought today I have an idea how to change a little bit that practice because we are two people here. Um, what makes it even more difficult. If you are two people at home, of course, you can uh, do a few things together. But now, that's the idea. Between my legs is 90 degrees of angle. Of course, my upper body has a 90 degree angle to my legs. And my arms are mirroring my legs position. So, arms are in 90 degrees to each other, and in 90 degrees to the upper body, and in 90 degrees the upper body 
to the legs. You hold that position, straighten your back, and then actually first it's very simple because we do it alone. We roll over the side on our back to the other side. So I will uh, point, or well, we'll watch exactly 180 degrees to the back side. I'll show you once. So we go like that and sit that way. Okay. And then again, and you have turned around. That's what we call the teddy bear practice for the children classes. And the other side around as well. So the feeling like that is quite simple. You, it's, uh, it's quite easy to do. Now, if you do it really slow, it becomes very hard for the center and for the um, bigger muscles, especially the uh, biceps femoris, uh, quadriceps femoris. You go sideways, but you hold the position. So in that position, you still got 90 degrees at the way. Then you roll on the other side. But don't focus. And then sit up and don't go loose again. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know me. <laughs> you're laughing at me. Yeah, I'm not fit. Thank you. And again, you go sideways and other side and sit up again. Okay, and other way around. Side of this, flip to the other side, hold. This is pretty bad for me. And one more time. Okay, that's what you do if you go alone. But now, Sylvia, you come to the middle here. And because I am not allowed to touch you, and actually I am allowed. We're going to use extension. Okay, don't be crazy. I just go underneath your feet, lift this a little bit. Okay, so now I lift you to that side. <laughs> then I put you there, and now it becomes very, very tough. I have you a little bit and set up. Oh. Yes. <laughs> now let's see if we can do. Okay, I start here okay. and the other side. <laughs> Teddy bears going there. <laughs> and now it becomes really difficult because if I push here, she has to take a lot of power to her. <laughs> If you have a partner to do that, enjoy. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. <laughs> That's easy. And this is very hard too. Yes. Right. And again, from there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, that was in distance, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How useful jaws are at that place these days. You want to do it to me? Yes. Oh god, I hate it. It's so it's so hard. Ah. <sighs> Think about the best angle to move. Okay, that's easy. Thank you. That's a really tough one. <laughs> stay with that because there's a lot of nice practices. First, one thing what we did also last Thursday that's important for your spine and how you can round your spine for the ukemi, for the back, uh, ukemi as well as for my ukemi. So for that, we are sitting in that situation, in that position. Our knees close, take our hands front on our knees, keep this position and now we want to roll over our back to our shoulder axis and that's pretty tough if you do it very slow so because at some point you need to contract your uh, front your abdomen very very strong and that gives a lot of uh, let's say uh, possible uh, power later if you do it a few times or weeks 
Okay, so what we do is, first of all, we try to be really round, therefore our chin comes to our chest, and then we shift the weight over the hips to the lower spine, and then we shift it to the shoulders. It was really difficult. And very, very slowly, you come back. Let's sit up. Very slowly. Okay, that was fun. That was quick. You've done well. Okay, there's a moment, especially if you sit up, where it shows if you can really round in your back, or if you are straight and then you just, yeah, you just been on your back like a buck, you know, you cannot come up again. The same way, if you want to go on your shoulder axis, it's really tough. You have to shift all the weight over the head and then go in. Uh, if it is really correct, you don't need to touch your head with uh, on the on the top I and mean, that's really tough to do, but try it. You go slowly, roll backwards, and slowly, little by little, you shift the weight to your shoulder axis. And balance on your shoulder, and then little by little, you come back very, very slowly. In. Okay. You see? Later I want to know if you do that, what you feel. It looks so simple, but for me it's really tough. Okay. Gotcha. And one more time. Yes, one more time is good. <laughs> Last time. <sighs> ah. Okay. Relax a little bit. Shake your body. Especially your center will be quite intense, tense. Ah. Okay. So that leads us in the next. Uh, this one is still quite okay, not too too hard to do from the sitting position. You take your hands aside, and now we're gonna roll on our uh, back and roll over one of our shoulders, either left or right, and decide yourself what you want to start. And uh, sit on our knees then. So we start from here, we go backwards, and we sit on the knees. Okay. And now, vice versa, we just put one shoulder down, and go slowly to sit up. In the long seat. And on the other side, go backwards. Sit on knees. And again forward. Okay. Of course, you have to use your hands sideways to balance out if you go shoulder. And try again. And the other side again. <sighs> ah, okay. Maybe I should watch your comments. Who's there? <laughs> yeah, some are there. Cool. Nice to see you all. Um, I have to switch on a little bit more light on my screen so I can even see myself. Okay, so that was the simple one. Please do. Now 
Oh, yeah. Do you want to do that first? No. Now we come to the to the difficult one. You put yourself flat on the ground, like in a cross. Okay, it's like this. And now start pull up your hips and roll over one shoulder. And don't push too fast. Just start pull up your hips and you roll over your shoulder. And then vice versa. That's not so hard. So you go up and lie down. Now we take the other side. Pull up your hips oh, and lie down. Is there any? Can you see me? I can't see me. Yeah, I can't. I'm still. <laughs> And uh, you go back again. Okay. And one more time. Oof. Ah. And back again. I can't. After three times, I already can't. Ah. And one more time to the other side. And backwards. Ah. All right. Okay. If you're bored, do that. 20 times. It's cool, of course. You can do it even more if you want. Okay. Because of we have to do so much action with our hips, we need to grow even the small parts of it. Therefore, it's very funny to walk like that. Put your hands on your knees and shift your legs forward. They are almost straight. Maybe the knees are a little bit loose. You go forward from your hips. It looks very funny, isn't it? And then we go backwards as well. And backwards. And forward. And backwards. Yes. And forward. Come on. I will be first. Where? Go ahead. <laughs> and backwards. Four, three, two, one. And that's it. Ah. And shake your body. Relax. Ah. I'm sorry, I'm very exhausted. I'm not sure if you feel the same. Maybe you're super fit, but I am not. It's, uh, we have just too few trainings. I need that every day, actually. Now I become very weak. Well, next thing is the basic ukemi, basic routines for Oshi looking. So we start with that position, keep your hands on your knees. We roll on the back without touching the head to the ground. And come up again to this. Okay. And you change also the position of your legs. Take the other side to the front. Okay, move to this and come up on the knee and then roll backwards and come up. And we take the other side to the floor. So now just look at me, take alternating left and uh, right knee down to the ground and roll. And come back up. 
and drop and back up. And one more time. And move fast. And again. And again. Okay, so Ushiro is. I'm not sure if you can do, but or if we should do man. Did we do man last week? We did. We did. Three falls. Three falls as well. Break fall. Totally good. Okay. <laughs> cool. Well, now my opinion. Sometimes we used to do on very small spots from kneeing. That's what you actually do easily in your carpet at home. So you go down and roll forward. And the other side as well. well some used to put the arm under the body, some do it outside. You can try both. Okay, so that was very low, but basically, if you do my alchemy, there's no big difference to this position. The only thing is our feet are on the ground instead of our knees. So if you start like that, just put your position and take the feet up, knees up, and then you roll. It's also very small. Okay, if you have this chance, because you have mats, I think some of you have in their little room. Um, you also can perform from standing, but basically it's the same like before. You first lower your own body, keeping balance and still, um, let's say, stabilize or stützen, or support, thank you, your whole body wide by your front foot. And then you go down and roll. Okay, now when we do tubi or break falls or high falls or however you want to call it, it's basically the same. But instead of Bringing this arm to the ground first, it's the other arm. But I have to support myself by my legs, especially the forward one. And if you look carefully, when my feet is leaving the mat, my arm is already placed on the mat. So there's actually no need for staying in the air. Of course, we can do it. It looks very, uh, very funny or it's very di dynamic to jump into this roll. But basically, if you do it very proper, you could even do it on the concrete floor because there's no actually heavy impact to the ground. If you just um, bring over the weight from your feet to your arms by rolling. So it is not at a certain point where you have to support all your weight with your arm. But because of your rolling, it continues in a natural flow and you can stand up quite easily. So, but one very important thing is, for this tobi, okay, if we are rolling, it's not only the arm from the hand to the shoulder, what, is tried, what I try to bring forward, it's also the shoulder axis, what follows that. Because maybe, as you know, the arm doesn't start from the shoulder, it starts basically from the spine. The shoulder blade and the uh, keybone is part of the arm, 
Okay. As you know, you cannot lift the arm higher than shoulder level without moving this part. From there, you have to leave, let that go. So basically, that's what you need also in Tobi. It's not enough to go down and try to bring forward the arm. You have to re rotate your shoulders so you can even reach further forward. What means that the, um, the moment where you leave the weight from your forward supporting leg, you already have your hand on your ground. If I go like this, I won't. But if I reach out like that, I can put down my head and then the foot is leaving. Of course, if you go quick, it's not so easy to see, but there's no actually jumping. Okay, we try a little bit. If you want, you try. We try just a few times. Huh? Better than yes. I think even more to rotate your shoulder into the direction of the falling, and not to leave it square or half square. Just bring it like that because then you have full extension with your arm. Yeah, but the idea is just on one side. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you can feel it. Yeah, it's not not so clear. No. You hold the shoulder a little bit back. Well, well, that's the question of practice. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of time. After some thousand times, you will feel it. Oh, no. to bring it. Thousand times? Thousand? <laughs> not now. <laughs> all right. So, I hope you are warmed up and not broke your shoulder yet. <laughs> or your nose or whatever. We did. There's many other Okimi what we could also practice like the uh, falling leaf to the front or to the back, that's always nice. But now we continue doing something very, very simple. So I found that the other days on Facebook, I already told some friends in Stockholm did that. They used to have a OB and they wrapped it around a tree in the garden and then they did their uke practices. This kind of um, ukemi practice is uh, invented by young Nidiros and your Madidi, and it's quite nice and healthy to prepare. So, because we are not allowed to grab the Otidori, that's why we use that. And all what we do is we place our feet like shoulder wide, maybe. Then we go down and we keep the contact like high. We sit down, stretch out a little bit, and we roll backwards. The good thing is, well, actually, now we are. Uh, by two, but you can also wrap around the belt around the door handlebar or where, whatever you have also uh, a chair because you're not actually pulling or hanging on that. You're actually holding that a little bit uh, stretched, but don't pull. So I balance out myself completely by own. I don't need the part. And you can do that slowly, so you feel every single part of your body is moving and how it's moving. One more time. Yeah. So you do. So now, we 
do the next one. First with the belt and later we invented some new thing with the jaw. So now we take just one hand. And that's also for the people who are practicing with the Oma Yami. They actually know. Think about you have Katate Dori grab. Thing is, with this practice, we try to set up a proper way how to use Ushiro Ukimi and keep the contact. So the actually motion, what we do is we go low as if you would hold this point like a, like a tablet, some nice glasses. And then we come to the point where the supporting forward uh, leg is quite uh, under uh, tension. There's an um, invisible line, what I should not cross by my head because it would mean that I come too far and could be reached by a uh, free hand or Tori's free hand. At that moment, I change position and take Ukemi. Okay. So first we are in Hanmi place. Now I go low with my center. I change position and take Ukemi. Okay. Again, go low, change position, and take Ukemi. And the other side as well. So go low, change position, and then take a okay. kick. All right, you do. Hello. Now, and that's what happened last week by accident. We thought about would it be possible to keep distance and still deliver some information for Uke? So now, this is our uh, connection, and actually, we can push or pull, we can turn, lift, and lower, or bring it sideways, and it doesn't have any big effect. And we can exactly practice what we used to do in the Aikido if we have straight contact. If you are on your own, you just put that uh, jaw or your uh, whatever you have, your brush on a chair, and then you can continue doing the same like uh, we just did before. But we are practicing together. So now my idea is to lower my center, shift around my center axis, and make the partner sit. that motion. Okay, it's not just turning or pulling or pushing, it's giving some, some energy, putting my center behind that spot, then rotating the center sideways, so her elbow is pointing in front of her center, and then give it a little bit more, and she will go down. So now there's a reason for this motion, what we practiced before, because I uh, give this impulse. From center rotation forward and so if you if you are just giving something where you feel like okay the part is behind this part it's not like loose then it has the chance to work otherwise it wouldn't of course and it's a practice to feel how does this motion affect which kind of effect to the whole body structure of Uke. Okay, I did it four times. It's you. Yes. I go down. Oh, I have to change. And I sit down. And I still keep this contact. So there's still this kind of pushing. If I would go further, I will not did it. Yeah, 
still fits like Aikido, even if it looks really weak. I like you, no. <laughs> you stay in distance. So. <sighs> Really not simple, it's not easy, you have to really go slow. You want to no. let me continue that? See now, I've just landed. <laughs> yeah. All right. Did we do anything more last time? From there. Yeah, but we can use that. Why not? So now, if we are on two, we can. What could we do with a stick there? Oh. Also to the front. Okay. So imagine this is like the. This is when energy handles to us, you know, we really rotate in it. It's not the hand, it's not moving my joint here, it's my center what rotates comes into the arm. You can, if you are alone, you can practice both of it, you know, both parts. You can do sorry, your center idea, you put the stick to a wall and rotate the center, and the stick is still. Holding without it, that you're grabbing. Okay? And then, oh, you're leaving there. Space. Yeah, center must be behind. You also can take down yourself as if you would do Ikyo. Oh, receive Ikyo. Don't take the shoulder back. Bring, bring your center into me. Yeah, and then rotate. Oh, no, yeah, no, not shifting sideways. This point has to rotate by your center towards me, not away from me. No, no, no. You're going that way. You have to go this way. From your center, extend towards my. Yes, that's it. <laughs> extend to the front. Yeah, okay. That with the three meters, <laughs> if the situation gets more rigid, then we need like outside, inside, and we just open the window. I do again one more time. So I take my center down, I rotate towards your shoulder, and bring your shoulder forward. twist the stick. I don't push, I just take my center behind that line and rotate around my center axis. And I continue rolling inwards with her action. 
<laughs> it's not me going faster than her arms rolling inwards. It's I follow and continue doing the motion together with Uke's ability to roll inwards. You go in backwards first. Don't do it. Yes, rotate to the front. Very good. Don't go backwards. Don't push. Rotate your center around your axis. Your center must watch there. Yeah. But you are because now it's hanging here yeah, that is much more better oh. no don't go backwards stay away rotate don't push just rotate around the center axis no with the idea of bringing that rotation to my arm to my shoulder and now to the front no not away from me there. Continuous. Ah. Okay. So maybe you have found something. Would you like? We have done our 50 minutes practice today. So we have a little break and shut down the live stream. And then uh, I'm going to establish the Zoom meeting. Whoever wants to join your very welcome to join and tell your experience of your own practices or uh, of what you just felt. If it was great love or if it was stupid, probably the, there's people who think like this is strange practices, but it's due to the fact that we don't or we should not take too close contact what's very difficult in Aikido and use it. So, however, we sweated. This time you could see it and I hope you sweated yourself. And um, Please stay healthy and uh, thanks for watching. See you soon somewhere or next time on Thursday, seven o'clock. Uh, we do again the live stream. Thanks, Sylvia. We're finishing. Okay. Okay. <laughs>